Hi again! Today we're gonna do keto bun. It's our famous bun. The bun that is really fluffy and it's nice and it's very filling. And anyways, um, if you don't have a chance to come down to our store and if you want to bake it fresh, if you want to try out um, baking them at home. So we actually have the keto bun mix ready. So you can actually buy the mix. This actually makes six to eight, depending on how you how heavy and how small you want it. I tend to divide mine into six because, um, and I eat one uh, because of the portion control, because each bun is about three grams of carb. And then I would load it up with a lot of other stuff. And in my book here, that's the reason why I actually make it into uh, three grams. So you can actually load it up with a lot of other stuff. So the bun will be the base of the food. And then um, it's like an exchange of the breads and rice staple that you will always um, got used to. So this is, an, this is an alternative. Yeah, there's an instruction in here and it calls for you to do eggs just the whites there's three of them i've separate them for us and then we need um, apple cider vinegar and we also need hot water and to top it i sometimes use sesame seeds i use sunflower seeds you can use any kind of seeds um, which is keto friendly and um, here let's go so um, we can do this different three different ways you can actually mix it with your hand mixer or you could do it with an electric hand mixer here i have this single ones that is an immersion also but this is pretty good so and or you have if you have a standing one you can always use a standing one whichever so the trick here is this is the eggs the trick here is just to sift the egg whites until it's actually not wet anymore if you are not using a hand mixer that is electric it's going to take a while but it's doable so you don't have to have the electric one this is about done like you see i just don't want it to be too wet inside and let's put the apple cider vinegar it calls for two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar i like this brax but you can use any apple cider vinegar anyway it's very healthy for you let's let's make this again Good. I can see that that's a good amount and there is no more water underneath there. You cannot find anymore if you can see it from the bottom maybe. There's no more liquid of the white. That's a good. And then inside here is this. So we'll just do that. And this is the tricky part if you're doing a hand mix but you should be able to do this slowly. Okay, so we need the hot water boiling if possible. So we can just do that. The hot, there is psyllium has in here. So um, the hot water is needed to activate the psyllium husk. So we'll do this until it kind of thickens a bit so that you'll be able to shape them. 
look at how weird this thing actually looks it doesn't look, doesn't really look like a dough at all but here it is there we go so we'll just stir it in with a spatula um this is ready to shape now like this i would use a glove because this is too sticky or i can use like a uh, bowl to shape it so you have i'll i'll show you how so this makes six so i'm gonna divide this into like six equal parts you just have to ballpark this so i'm gonna take one portion look at this this is the fun part because of the texture i have to just do that to make it roundish and then i'm gonna put that in onto my seeds there you go and take another one and i'm gonna shape it like that it shapes easy actually to do this but you can always do this with hands too because it takes practice to do this but you need a glove because this is totally sticky like my gloves on okay so the trick like i said it, this is very sticky so you don't want to hold it with your own hand so you can actually do that you can make it round if you do that and then you'll place it there so we're gonna move this here You can make any shapes you want. Um, like, um, for instance, if you are making a um, a hot dog, you can actually shape it into a hot dog shape, and it'll come out more like a longish hot dog-ish kind of a look. There you go. And you don't always have to put seeds on them, so I can always have an elongated one. And of course, for my hamburger patty, I like it round as my patty is round. And for those that doesn't want to do any seeds, you don't have to, but if you do, there you go. This is round and a little bit more flat, so. Let me show you again how to do this. Uh, this is like my favorite because I don't have to touch anything and it can go, it's like always give me a perfect shape. So um, here this particular oven calls for 175 degrees but I know I have friends who actually does it at 168 degrees. So when you bake anything you actually have to know your oven. You don't want your uh, temperature to be too high because then the skin will get too hot it will be hard and then it wouldn't puff I mean it would puff up so fast that actually the inside will be hollow too so you just have to play around and bake a couple of times it's not totally foolproof as oven wise because um, like I said oven is different in every brand every household and mine calls for 175 and mine calls for about 40 minutes so you really have to look like how dark you want your bread to be here it goes into the oven it's 40 minutes now let's take a look i think it's gorgeous that's the color I want, and that's, yay! Um, because of the texture and of the, um, the way this thing is not made of the regular dough, um, so we need to move this right away to a rack or else the bottom part will be very, very, very wet. And I don't like my wet, soggy <laughs> bun. Be careful, this thing is really hot. So, but I don't know. I have very strong hot tolerance. Oh, not entirely. 
Barbie. <laughs> there you go. But let it cool. And you can enjoy it the way my suggestions or you can make your own and if you could tell me about it, that would be great too. <laughs>